welcome back everyone. This week's recipe of the week is being brought to you by Wide Open Food Company, the makers and creators of Anything Sauces. And you can check them out at anythingsauces.com or simply go to southernwoodsandwaters.com <coughs> and you'll see their banner at Anything Sauces. All right, Marty, He'll be like music on there. Hillbilly music. Hillbilly music. <laughs> That's banjo music. Hillbilly music. That's when you know when you're lost. <laughs> I'm hoping somebody's watching tonight because uh, Marty, was it not terrible last night? In the, I mean, the thunder. Yeah, everybody the live out there? Hello. Yeah. yeah. Are, you Are you there? I yeah. could go to sleep. Your TV's right still here. working? You're lucky. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, right. Lightning didn't strike it, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad storm. That was crazy. Woke me up at one in the morning, yeah, two in the morning. Me too. Sounds like somebody rough. set up a bomb outside. It was terrible. So what we got here is your Nashville Junkyard Dog. Dizzy Bird loves these. Dizzy Bird. But uh, you can put the whole junkyard on it. That's why we call it a Junkyard <laughs> Dog. It's D-A-W-G. Don't spell it wrong, okay? <laughs> and you got some chips there, too. Now, you can put all this stuff on all this stuff. That's what's great about anything for everything, right? You can put the Chipotle or the Creole underneath the dog. You put your piece of cheese, that way your bun doesn't shred and fall apart and your dog falls out on the ground and your dog eats it. <laughs> That's why I call them So you put your cheese dog. under your hot dog? Yeah, cheese under there, then you put some sauce on there if you want it spicy or just leave it plain, whatever. You can use the original if you like mayonnaise on your dogs. Use the original instead. So you can use any or all of these Wasabi. sauces on them. Then you take your dog, and we get the all beef ones, you know, and then just grill them up, boil them up, however you want to cook them up. Do them raw, it don't matter, they'll still taste good. You make up your sweet kick coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Remember, this will make four pounds of coleslaw, so use it sparingly, it'll, it'll mix in real nice. It's nice and concentrated. And you throw that on top, put you some Creole blackening seasoning on top, put darn good sauce on top of there. You can put, if you want it really spicy and salty, you can put your Cajun seafood boil on top. So you can put it all on there. Just whatever you like. Yep. Whatever then you can you put like. anything you want on there. Yeah, and use three or four. That's why it's a junkyard dog. That's what I like to do. That's what I did last week with the recipe. Especially if you hate hot dogs, then you can stand them. I love them, <laughs> so I love it this way. I was telling Hugh, it's the dog that bites back. Oh, yeah. How about that? Now you have a new way of fixing dogs. D-A-W-G. <laughs> yeah. yeah. spell it wrong. Hot dog. Hot dog. Well, I tell you what, you can check them out at Anything Sauces on our website at southernwoodsandwaters.com. Click on the recipe section, and it's already there to make your Nashville mm -hmm. junkyard dog. See, I, I, it comes <laughs> natural for me. <laughs> I had to practice. Well, well, my guest over here, he's had to practice a few times, but, but uh, uh, just to, you know, we... Who's going to get to that first, you or I? I'm quicker than you out of the chair, Hugh. Uh -huh. Yeah, but <laughs> not when I'm tripping you. Oh. Well, that would I'm be smarter. true. That would be true. <laughs> so, but you can check us out on our website, southernwoodsandwaters.com. Click on the recipe section. It's already there. We appreciate uh, Marty and Joy doing the recipe for us. With me, uh, John Schaefer, great, great friend of mine. He's tried to help you out a little bit. It is a really good method of catching fish is trolling, mm -hmm. uh, especially in these dog days of summer when it's going to get really, really hot. Um, this is a way that you can keep a breeze blowing. Yep. Uh, you can even use, uh, uh, now I've seen you out there with the umbrellas and the cover and all oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, I do yeah. have a cover, I cheat a little bit. You but cheat a little it, bit. It, you know, it, that sun will... It will it'll, cook it'll, you it'll out cook there. You. <laughs> but, you know, you. everybody, I mean, you, your wife, you have uh, mm -hmm. girls, mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. you're the only guy in, in the family, yeah. uh, but they enjoy it. Yeah, I, I get them out and the girls like to fish and um, we get them out and... Uh, then we'll tube a few hours later. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. But they, um, they like. You can still it, say that you're trolling <clears throat> them with them on the tube behind you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you they, but they, they like, they like casting. You know, they, they, they do like they, to they fish. Like, yeah, they. So it's, uh, it's been fun. I'm glad they enjoy it. So we get out there and have a good time. Now we gotta say hi to Rick. I mean, because Rick Stewart was part of the. Hi, Rick Stewart. Uh, you know, he he helps you out a lot, and oh, yeah, now, Rick spent, loves to trout fish. Yeah, we spent uh, we spent a lot of time on the water. I know Hick too, you oh, know, yeah. we'll bass, bass fish yeah. in, the, in the whole deal. So, um, yeah, we, we enjoy fellowship out there for sure. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's, we've had, we've caught some big fish on Old Hickory bass wise. That's right. And, um, and, but it, you know, we forget how much we like the Caney. 
the last two weeks we're like what why don't we go why don't we more? go there more <laughs> so, often that's exactly right so. and it is a great way to do yeah. the summertime because you, you'll stay yeah. cool yeah uh if your feet and legs are yeah. are in that water you're gonna stay cool so uh, you get too uh, hot just take a little dip take a little dip <laughs> that's right yeah, that's we also got to say hello to our pastor jim freeze mm -hmm. uh, you know he's an avid fisherman in his own right oh, yeah and he might uh, like those uh mad dad, he dad, will yeah. he'll love those but now on, uh, he goes after rig. those tiny fish you know those yeah. makos and sand <laughs> sharks right. and nerf sharks he goes after those little ones. He, he, likes rays. he likes those <laughs> you know at least we go after real fish pastor <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, so but so uh, hot, we'll hot, hear about this, so, you know that. And also, so hi to my wife, my pretty wife at home. That's right. So Kylie, my daughters, I got three daughters, uh, Kylie, Lexi, and Ella, hi, hi to everybody And back. they're all cheerleaders. And oh, yes, a lot of cheerleaders. <laughs> so hi to my South Dakota crew and all my family up there and, and uh, my high school buddy that called in. So a lot of good things happening. A lot of good things. Hey, we got a giveaway to give away tonight, and we've got some... Stan Sloan Zora Basin we're going to be giving away and some clone soft plastics and if you'll be uh, the fifth caller here 615-737-7767 we got a nice package that you can use tomorrow while you're fishing so mm -hmm. uh, be calling and we'll be right back with our calendar and our final uh, segment of Southern Woods and Waters.